The Jungle Book Short Story Fairy Tale Stories for Kids Today we have a book named The Jungle Book Short Stories Fairy Tale Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. In the lush heart of the jungle, where ancient banyan trees whispered secrets of old and the air thrummed with the symphony of life, a small boy, Mowgli, found himself in a world unlike any other. His laughter, innocent and carefree, mingled with the rustling leaves, unaware of the lurking shadows. That moonlit night, Bagheera, a sleek and wise black panther, prowled the dense undergrowth. His ears perked up at a peculiar sound, the giggles of a human child. Intrigued, Bagheera slinked closer and discovered the boy. Mowgli, barely a toddler, was playing with a pebble, blissfully ignorant of the dangers around him. Little one, this is no place for you, Bagheera murmured, his voice a low whisper. The jungle is no friend to man. But Mowgli only looked up with wide, curious eyes, uncomprehending but fascinated by the graceful creature before him. Bagheera knew the jungle's perilous nature all too well, especially with Shere Khan, the fearsome tiger who bore a deep-seated hatred for humans prowling around. He had to act fast. Deep in the jungle, a pack of wolves, led by the noble Akela, had recently welcomed new cub. Bagheera saw a chance for the human child. Gently picking up Mowgli, he carried him to the wolf's den. At the sight of a human baby, the pack was startled. Raksha, the mother wolf, however, was instantly drawn to Mowgli. What shall we do with this man cub? Akela pondered aloud. He is just a cub, needing a family, Raksha insisted, her eyes softening. I will name him Mowgli, for he is as hairless as a frog and just as playful. Despite some concerns within the pack and the looming threat of Shere Khan, they agreed to raise Mowgli as one of their own. Growing up, Mowgli learned the languages of the jungle, conversing fluently with the animals. How is it you can talk to us? a young wolf pup once asked in awe. Mowgli smiled. We all speak the same language in our heart. Bagheera and Baloo, a bear known for his wisdom and humor, became Mowgli's mentor. Respect the jungle, its laws, and its mysteries, Baloo would rumble, teaching him the delicate balance of nature. Mowgli's days were filled with adventures, from swinging through the treetops with the monkeys, who chattered incessantly, to racing with the swift-footed deer, their hooves drumming a rhythm on the forest floor. One day, a group of mischievous monkeys snatched Mowgli away, their laughter echoing through the trees. Come play with us, man! Come! They screeched. Bagheera and Baloo, hearing the commotion, rushed to his rescue. Hold on, Mowgli! Baloo bellowed as they approached the ancient, vine-covered ruins where the monkeys had taken him. With a clever plan and a brave heart, they distracted the monkeys and rescued Mowgli. It was then that Mowgli learned about the red flower, fire, from Bagheera. Fire is powerful, Mowgli, Bagheera explained one evening as they sat by a small flame. It can protect, but also destroy. It belongs to your world, not ours. Mowgli, mesmerized by the flickering flames, understood the responsibility that came with such power. As Mowgli grew older, the elders of the wolf pack, along with Bagheera and Baloo, realized it was time for him to rejoin his own kind. The decision was bittersweet, filled with a deep sense of longing and belonging. The jungle will always be a part of you, Bagheera said softly, 
but you must also embrace your human destiny. With a heart heavy yet hopeful, Mowgli prepared to leave. His farewell was marked by promises to return and eternal bonds of friendship. However, before he could depart, Shere Khan the tiger, driven by vengeance, challenged Mowgli. In a fierce battle, Mowgli used his cunning, the skills he learned in the jungle, and his understanding of the red flower to overcome the tiger. Triumphant yet humbled, Mowgli realized his victory was more than just a defeat of Shere Khan. It was a triumph of wisdom and courage over brute strength. Walking towards the human village, Mowgli carried with him so many emotions and memories. He knew that, though his path led him to a new life among humans, the jungle would forever be a part of his soul. In the village, Mowgli adapted to the ways of his own kind, learning their customs and language. Yet, every night, as he gazed at the starlit sky, his heart wandered back to the jungle, to his friends and the adventures that shaped him. The end. Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.